welcome welcome back to another video and as you can tell by the thumbnail and the um title i will be talking about my fear and the reason why i want to tell you some stories about my experience and my brave act as well so let's get right into it Right guys, I'm going to talk to you about my fear and I'm going to tell you what it is. My fear is water. I'm petrified of water and the reason behind this is, here's the story. My parents takes us to a big nature park with a big lake where there's swans, geese, ducks. Okay. We go with some bread. We are feeding them. I go I go too far to the edge and I fall in. So I fall in. My dad's friend jumped in and pulled me out. These ones were an inch away from me. And as you can you can imagine I was crying, I was in a, in a panic, I was flipping out and um, as a child I thought well, yeah we get to do this and then that happens and then ever since that day I have been afraid of water. Right, we had allotment prior to this one. We had two plot of land t together on the edge of our own plot. And behind this um, plot, there is a brook. I thought, great, more water. So Boxing Day, Christmas. Christmas of the year 2015, Boxing Day. We go down. And and it and it and it has flooded. Right? It has flooded. Luckily, we filled in right one part of the um, plot on the edge. We built a wall of pallets, metal sheets, right? Luckily that bit won't flood it. Only the low bit where you where you go downstairs was flooded. So, my partner and I thought, what are we going to do? So, I go in the water. As I'm going down the steps, I take each step very carefully. So, I go into the pen. My partner is at the top. He tells me, try and lift that big green hooks so we did we managed to lift it over because by this point we've got a safety pin i looked around and i thought so where's the chickens i, f I find your chickens in a hutch caught curled all together so i saved them all right So we decided to leave the ducks in there because, as you know, ducks love water. So, the, there was a few people on that roll that had kept animals. I went to the next pen, which belonged to a man. He's a grave digger. He was there too. He did not go in the water to, to save his chickens. I went in. He had a big, massive chicken coop where you had to walk in and then into a big massive shed so so I was in the water by this point the water has raised above my knees all right I was in the shed I thought I thought well, why am I doing this so I kept it in here the whole time you're doing it for the animals so I saved I saved all his chickens 
I run back to the safety pin. What we built, right? A month before. So his chickens are with my chickens. So I go up to the next one. I move this guy's hutch with his chicken, chickens in to dry land. And then the second to last plot, they had big hutch with two of those big floppy giant um, rabbits. And as I'm, as I'm even their, their hutch, right, their hutch was breaking. I thought, these rabbits won't, deserve, won't survive. In the end, I thought, I've got to do it slowly. So, I was going back and forth, back and forth to each each side. I managed to get it to some, get get the hutch to dry land. And then go back into the water. And see if there's any more animals need to be saved. And my partner was on dry land. He kept what he kept. Ah, uh, watch me. He told me how far to go. Cause at one point, I went too far. So I nearly went under. I would have been a goner. So all this time from from my, my and my partner's pot, right? All down the pots I went. I, I was I was in that water in and out for two hours. Right, when I got there, the water was just, just below my knee. So, as soon as I was past, I get out, the water is just below my privates. And I will put in some pictures of the allotment and where we filled in, where it got flooded and the platform. Well, it was on the water. I'm afraid of water I can swim I did not have a choice I learned from school we got let to homes that day in year seven to learn to swim I did not want to go I went anyway we were put in the shallow end and in time I ended up the deep end and as I got into the, into that group my fear kicked in because my, because in deep end, my feet couldn't touch um, the floor. So I held it on to the edge until I felt ready to let go. I told my swimming in, in sorts of this. I said, I've got fair water. And I told him why. So he said, you do whatever you need to do when you're ready. So... I let go of the edge when I, I was ready and I decided to swim because I was used to the water. But saying that, I avoid swimming baths. I won't go swimming because I do have another story about swimming baths. My friend and I, we go swimming to Stockport. I tell this friend my fear. Also, I tell them, you do not pull me under, flick, flick water on me, don't do nothing to me, all right? That will freak me out. So we get there, we pay, we get changed, we head to the showers, we go to the um, swim baths. I am walking along the edge of the pool, very slow. Then my friend jumps in, I thought, great, leave me here. Leave me here on, on my own. So my friends say, jump in, just jump, jump in. Just 
just hold, you know, like this, close your eyes and jump in. So I do that. I jump in, I go straight to the bottom. I bang my bottom. I, I started to panic. I, I got to the surface, I was coughing. I was choking. I turned around, my friend, nowhere to, nowhere to be seen. Because my friend can't, could, can swim underwater. My friend grabbed my feet and pulled me under the water. So I freaked out. I get out of the pool. I go to the um, jacuzzi. And I don't talk to this friend for a good half hour. They did apologise. So, as a month, month went past, I go again. She did the same thing. I thought, I thought, screw this. I'm never coming swimming with you again. So, since that day, I have never gone back swimming with that friend. Right, what about bath and showers? I bet you guys are thinking, she went in the shower with copper. Yes, I did. But that was that. That was at his level, not my level, because show heads up here. As a shower, it takes me 10 minutes to get in one. I don't like the feel of the shower head up of my head, because my fear. I go in, I turn my back against it, I do this. So I let the water run down my back for at least 10 minutes, and then I wash my hair. Mm -hmm. Then I turn around and do my front. And then after a while, I'm fine. Baths, that's shallow. I'm I'm superb with baths, right? Cause, cause clear water. I can see the bottom. It is shallow. So bath, I'm I'm great. And I bet you guys are thinking, what about the housework, dishes? I can touch water. A sink. Even more small, right? In the sink, there's not much water there. It just goes, the water goes halfway up my arm. I'm fine with that. And I can touch water. I can drink water. I can operate a horse pie. When I'm doing a, doing a mop bucket, blasting the mop. So... I am not scared of that because the, the hose pipe is pointing towards me, so I ain't gonna get wet. Here is my final story. I go to Heaton Park with two of my family members and we go to the boat boat make. We paid to hire a boat for 45 minutes, right? We get on the boat, we go to the middle. I move to the back. And the top end, the front, front end, went up in the air. I began, I began to panic. So, we all, we all panicking. So I thought, use my experience that I learned from, from canoeing. And then, um, raft building. So, I took control of the, um, drama. I had to. So, in the end, I began to roll. And my family member began to roll. He rolled us in a bush against the wall of the embankment. Next thing, I was kicking off. I was panicking. And my family member had those, um, those microphone things. Say, help, help, we're sinking, we're sinking, we're sinking. Right? Because the water was an inch away to pour in the boat. In the end, I said, I said, I said, you sit here, I'll sit here. You go back to your door, I'll grab the store, right? right? I'll go in one, you go in two, right? So, we be, so, I'll show you one, two, one, two, one, two, and we started rowing. In the end, we end up to starting point, right? That was the scariest experience in my life. So, and, and since that day, I've never been back. I've never stepped foot on a, on another boat. No, nope. because I won't. So, so 
They, there you have it, guys. Guys, boats, no go area. Swimming, no go area. Baths, I'm okay. Showers, takes me a while to get in. Doing the dishes, the, the mop bucket, the hose. I am fine with that because I ain't gonna get wet. So, so now you know my fear. My fear is water. I won't. I won't say my fear is is severe. I'll say it's it's moderate. Well, I, I do have loads of stories, but I don't want to make this vlog too long of all my talking because talking vlog can be boring, it, for my opinion. So. So, I'll tell you more about my fear in in a future video. Ronnie's ascent in Rise of the Craze at 11 tonight, but now on Fox Who Rose, says cats and dogs don't get on? howlers in new idiot TV with offensive language and adult themes. Hey, cat! Good news! It's that time again. Try and contain your excitement, because here it is. The reason you get up in the morning. It's Idiot TV! Don't play games. Right, guys, that's it for today's video. You know me fate and the reason why. I told you some few stories too. So, I hope you liked it. And I hope you liked that little scene I did of star and luna because i was about to do my intro until i looked round and saw so in a minute and now she's decided to get in so thanks for watching please like subscribe comment and ring that bell. Please do. I'll see you, you guys next time.